everybody. A little while ago I was asked to show how I did my cover of Black Cloud by SNFU. It's a little bit different than the original version of the song, how it's supposed to be played, in that the actual version of the song has a is a D and a and a B minor for the for the verses. So can you see the black cloud above his head? I do it a, a note higher, so I actually do an E to a C sharp minor. And uh, just to add a little bit of decoration, I'll just try to get my my fretting hand in the camera a bit more. I, I just add uh, put my pinky finger on, on the second fret of the high E string. So it's just, I just play it in that. I like the way it sounds a little bit better in this key. When you're going down into the chorus, um, you're just gonna go from the C sharp minor to a B major. So, too frightened by the impending war, so he, and then you're gonna go into an A for the chorus. It's an A, and then back to an E. And you can do that decoration to uh, with the high E string. So, so he drinks and it all goes away. And he, when you go to the second part of the chorus, it's just uh, I do actually do power chords, a G sharp, and then an A. But I actually add um, my middle finger onto the sixth fret of the G string. It's just the major third of the A, but I just like it adds a bit of a twang, especially since you're going back down to the A to start the chorus again. So he drinks, and it all goes away, and he smiles, because he's still here today, and he laughs in the fakest of ways, cause one day there'll be no tomorrow, and he knows. When you go into that last part of the chorus, instead of an A, you're going down to an E, and then to a B major. And he knows, one day there'll be no tomorrow. So the last, the first two parts of the chorus is an A, then an E, then a G sharp, then an A, and G sharp, then an A. And then the final part is, and he knows, back down to an E. And then you start again for the second verse. That's the entire song. If you want to do it the way SNFU did it, it's um, a D, then the B minor, then for bridging down to the chorus, Then a G. That's uh, and for the, the second part of the the chorus, it's a uh, a B and then a C. So it's a little bit different. Um, essentially, just jumped up a step. Um, but a little bit different on the second part of the, the verse. And there's the, the chorus chords change a little bit towards the end. So I like the sound of that better when I actually play the cover of the song. I usually, I usually do this version with the E. So try it yourself, see what you like better, and uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching.